Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. So today I'm going to share some items that I recently got at Five Below. Right now they're doing back to school, a little back to school section, and they have some really cool um, planner items like calendar items. So I just wanted to share some things that I found um, that I really liked. So I'm going to just show you all the goodies that I found and everything was like the, the store is called $5 or less, um, which is a pretty good deal. They have some really nice stuff. All right, the first thing that I found is a little pen holder. I thought this was super cute, this little flower. It came in a couple of different colors. I believe there's a green one and a like, um, like terracotta looking one. So yeah, this is for your pens. I just thought it was cute. Um, this one I believe was, Let's see, this was the flower pen holder, $3.25 for the flower pen holder. But just a little cute little decorative but functional piece that you could add to your desk. Um, I also found these little plastic storage bins. This one, let's see, how much was this? Mm, I don't think it was much. I want to say like $3 too. Um, but just a little bin to organize stuff in here. Um, I always like to have this, maybe for some like extra washi that I have on my desk, just like toss it in a little bin. Um, you can fit, you know, other stuff in there too. But just a nice little organization item. Actually, let me double check on the price because I don't remember. It wasn't $3, it was only a dollar for this little bin. And it's a nice like little plastic clear bin. Um, so yeah, it looks really cute. All right, so those, there was that one. Um, There's also some sticky notes. These were, as it says, a dollar. Let me open these up. I thought these were really cute. This one says, get it done. A note for you, don't forget, and a note for me. I like the different shapes, the colors. So you get a good stack in each one. And again, only a dollar for this pack. Um, and then I found some binder clips. I like binder clips. Um, but I like the color of these. You have like some pink ones. These were a dollar too. Kind of like neutral colors. A white one that's a smaller size. And I think I see a green one in here. I can get to it. Oh yeah, there's a couple of these little, oh they're different. The different colors are different sizes. So you have this little mini one and then the medium, and then the larger one here. So yeah, nice little colors on the binder clips. Another little organizer slash calendar item that I found was this calendar desk organizer. I thought this one was cool because you can use it functionally or just, you know, store your stuff. So this one I believe was $5. Yeah, five dollars for this one. I like that it's clear. It's that nice, like plastic, clear acrylic-looking type of um, aesthetic. And then it has these little calendars here. So we are in. Okay, we are in July. Oh, here it is. Okay, so July. And then you just, I guess, find where it matches up, which I believe, let me check. Okay, so July started on a Saturday. So now to line up, sorry, with the glare, but it lines up with the correct dates. So you just have to find where the start date is for the month and then move it around. Now, I noticed one thing, if you find this in store, I would say to like open it up and check these because I do have one that's torn, so that's not good. Um, make sure that the cards are all correct. But I don't know, I thought this was a little cute item. And I like, again, that there's this big area right here where you can store things. So that's good. I mean, it's, it could store my punch right there, so that's nice. And then um, this right here, you could put your phone. I film with my phone, but you can, um, otherwise I put it there, but you can basically put your phone right here. 
um, and set it on your desk and everything's like nice and organized on your desk. So I thought that wasn't bad for $5. I think I might exchange, I'm gonna exchange this one for one that isn't torn, but yeah, I really like this look with the acrylic. Well, it's not really acrylic, it's like, is it acrylic? No, I think I feel like it, <laughs> but I thought it was a cute item. Okay, and then another calendar item I found was this um, dry erase board. It comes with a little marker. Honestly, these are never any good. Uh, I would get like a better brand of marker, but it does come with a little marker, has a little eraser. And it had a bunch of different colors. Sorry, the ring light is, all the glare is happening. Um, but yeah, there was a couple other colors. This one's kind of like an orangey, which I didn't mind. Um, they had some patterned ones too. This was $5. But again, I like this maybe for like pre-planning. It does have um, an area right here where you can hang it on the wall. So that's cool. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep this though. Because I'm not sure. But I like the idea of it. Um, so I wanted to share that one. But yeah, it's really cute. I like it. Um, the next things I the next things I found are some like planner type of items. So we have this one right here that says weekly planner. Let me open this up. Okay, so I feel like this is a good like pre-planning type of sheet. Um, it has the days of the week right here, Monday through Sunday, a little checklist section here, and then a dot grid section here, and you get a bunch of sheets in this pack. Um, I believe this one was $3.25 for this pad of pages right here and again it does have a good amount of sheets in here it didn't say did it say how many um 60 sheets so you have a full a little bit over a year's worth of sheets in here if you plan on using it for every week so that's pretty good so there was that one everything that i found had different color options for everything so that was nice too there was a good selection uh there's this daily planner and again another little pad of paper these are daily sheets. There's a get it done section, notes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, goals, plans for tomorrow, and to-do list here. And this one has, let's see, 52 sheets in this pad of paper. I just like the look of it too. I like this, the way it looks on the top. There was like a pink one, I believe, too. There's another color. Um, but yeah, this one was $3.25 for the daily desk pad. And then there was one disc bound item that I found. This is a notebook. Last year they had these same ones, but the covers were like very, they had a lot of pattern on them, um, different images. I wasn't a huge fan of, but I like that they went with like solid versions this year. So there's this purple one. I believe there was a pink one and a black one. Um, so a couple of options. I really like this one. This is like more the size of a big, if you use a happy planner. But I like this because it, gave, it gives you this cool pocket sheet right here. And it's plastic double-sided. And then it had these nice um, divided sections here. You get grid paper, dot grid paper here. I think all the sections have the dot grid. Which, I love dot grid, so definitely can use this paper. So you get, looks like one, two, three, four, five tabs and five sections of Dr. Paper. And yeah, this was the $5 for this one. Um, and again, this is only like in a happy planner, disbound dupe kind of item that I was able to find there. They, like I said, they usually come out with these during back to school. So I always like to find, um, find these when I go and shop for these items. You like more of coiled stuff. They had a bunch of coiled items. Um, I really like this one, the look of this one. It says noteworthy on the front. There were different color options for this one too. It's just a big, it says jumbo journal. And I love the color because my favorite color is green. And then it comes with three, is it three? Yeah, three sections in here. Um, the first tab section right here, you get this lined, paper and then this next one you get the grid paper the dot grid paper and then here you get blank so I like that it has three different sections with three different types of paper in it um this one 
was, let's see, Jumbo, $5 for this um, notebook. And then the other colors had different sayings, but I like this one because it said noteworthy on it. I thought that was cute. And then the last two items that I found were planners. I actually was trying to find another planner. They had some other planners too. The ones I have are undated, but they did have some dated ones. And I looked at a couple stores and I checked online and saw that you could, like the stores I was going to had them in stock, but they didn't have them on the floor. So I did a pickup order, but then it got canceled. So it seems like they couldn't find the other planner that I was trying to find that I wanted to share. But I did find two other planners. They're both coiled planners. Um, this one's the first one. So if you're looking for like an inexpensive planner, this one, I believe, let me see. This one was only $3.25 for this planner. And it is, let's see. If you have a happy planner, it's smaller than a happy planner. So you can see like the size difference. Um, but it's only $3.25, so that's pretty good. And has a nice little decorative cover. July 2023 to June 2024 has the year at a glance for both of those years and then you go into July this one doesn't have tabs so like you could use those like binder clips or something to mark your page so you know where you're where you are or you could add in tabs yourself if you wanted to but here's the monthly page I like that there's a little checklist here on the side for the monthly and then here are the weekly pages. The paper is very thin, um, but not it's not too bad, but it is thin. Uh, so you have Monday through Sunday here. I like that each of these sections are all the same size because sometimes in planners, they'll do like Saturday and Sunday, like shorter. And for me, I always like, I do more on the weekends in my planner. So I like that all of these are the same size. It has this week's priorities, a shopping list. Oh, I like that things I'm grateful for and I, there's a little habit tracker they jam-packed a lot of things on these two little pages there's also calendars for um, the current month and then the next month on here so you get a little glance of that each week and then that's kind of the setup for the look of it oh and it has July here little markers here so you can kind of see where you are in a way <laughs> um, if you go off of the side but yeah, I like all the like all the functional stuff on here. I really like that daily habit tracker on the bottom too. You have one, two, three, four, five sections to write habits in. Okay, and then it goes into the next month and it's same same setup. So let's see in the back what's in because sometimes they put like extra stuff in the back. Okay, so you got some aligned notebook paper, and then you have a password section, and then. A little pocket back here all right so that one was 350 for that planner and then this is the other planner I found it has like a little band on it and this one does have tabs but I think it's tabbed for the quarters maybe I think yeah there's just like four sections in here uh, it says this handy planner features yearly monthly and weekly views plus space to list and track goals remember tasks Log your water consumption, record special moments, take notes, rate your day, and well, there's a lot of things you can do in here, apparently. Okay, so you have goals. Oh, wow, it gives you, like, categories for your goals, friends, family, romance, health, school, growth, spirituality, finances, community, home, fun, other. Then it has goal four that you can fill in, books to read, places to go, things to do, other, um spending log that's a very small spending log but you do have a little spending log here oh it's for the month still kind of small but yeah that's the spending log this month i was this month's best moment things i'm looking forward to and things i'm grateful for and then here is just a blank section that you can kind of do what you want there you can do some like memory keeping on there that'd be cute um here you can put since it's not dated you put the month and then you have it this is a sunday start to saturday uh over here it's a nice dashboard of things to track so you have a water tracker 
goal tracker, habit tracker, and tasks. Little checklist. All right, and then you got the month. Okay, so these are the weeklies. Okay, so this is before the month. This is the month. Interesting. Or maybe it's the week. I don't know. All right, let's see. So here we have the weeklies. It has a little section to rate your day. That's funny. And then you have a task section here. Okay. So they are all the same for the month. And then the new month starts off with, again, the goals for whatever month it is. And then the spending log. And then all the tracking. Hmm. I wonder how this will work, though, because it is for a month, but it's only for a week. I don't know how that works, but it's there. All right, so it goes back into the same. So it has four months here. Then it goes into the next one. Same stuff here. So I'm going to go to the back to see what others do some extra stuff back here. Oops. Okay, note section here. So line notes, grid notes, and dot grid notes. Wow, that's really thick. Dot grid. I, honestly, I think between the two planners, um, I prefer this one. I like this one. I really wanted to see that dated one because um, that one looked a little bit bigger and it was dated. It had tabs like with the months on it and everything, but I couldn't find it. This one was, let's see, this one was, how much was this one? I want to say it was $5. Does it have the price on it? No. Yeah, this one was $5 and this one was what, $3.50. I like this one better, the setup here, versus this one. Um, but they have, they have planners there, which is really cool. So if I were you, I would suggest checking the um, site and seeing if your current five or if your local five below has these items in stock because that's what I did and um, that way you're not having to like go around to different ones but it seems like they're setting all this stuff I went to two different ones and they had a bunch of stuff out so definitely check it out lots of fun products that you can put into your planner world so yeah I just wanted to share those like seeing all the like different planners that are out there especially like cheaper options like these um that are more affordable those are always cool to see and to share so i hope you all enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you in the next one